like Andrew, and I, I get the other Andrew. I'm just wondering if there's another Democratic candidate that's sort of interested in being governor, supposedly, who has more money and is more popular. Why not just support that person against the Republican? Well, you know, the decisions to um, support a candidate are not quite as simple as that. And you look at the outcomes in elections, they're not quite as simple as that either. Because I've seen many well-funded, more supported, popular candidates, you know, running. I, I was, uh, you know, I was very much behind Hillary Clinton. Yes. And, um, you know, I was telling folks I don't see how she doesn't win. So that's what a genius I am. Right. And, uh, you know. Right. But, so, but if the Democratic Party, if their main interest is keeping the, the governorship in Democratic control with the best candidates, fundraising indicates it might be somebody else. What's the impetus to say we're going to stick with the person that we currently have that that got here through unusual circumstances? Well, I mean, I think in fairness to a lot of political leaders, that's a very uh, telling and important question to them. And the governor has a job to do to turn that around. I mean, let's face it, you, know, you, you run a campaign and you start a campaign to get your views out and you believe that when the people know your views, they're going to get they're going to get support that will go up, and that's what the start of this campaign for this governor is about. So I think there's time to go yet. This is February. The last I looked, the election is November. A lot happens in eight months. Take a look at eight months ago. Would you have imagined where we would be in the national? I don't think so. Things change. And, what about and upstate and downstate? I can 